What's up guys? So I'm on my way home and as you guys some of you guys know that the Cobra's bumper and a lot of stuff got messed up so so what we did is we called the insurance and uh, they're gonna do like an appraisal on how much to get it fixed for and I'll get a check because on the way to LA something hit our car and it really like messed up all of our cars actually sadly and so I gotta get that fixed ASAP because I need to be car show ready. The only issue is, is that having a silver car is kind of good and bad. It looks really good, but it's hard to blend paint if you need stuff repainted. That's the only thing. So, I mean, I guess we'll see what happens. But, uh, I mean, yeah, that's good news. Uh, I just got out of school. Take you guys for a little vlog on the head mount. Haven't done that in a quick minute. And the five point slow. We'll do some pulls for the one time. Definitely want to race the Cobra and the 5.0 just to see how they do. If I lose in the Cobra, then I'm pretty pissed. Like, <laughs> if the Cobra loses, I'm gonna be mad because the thing, this thing doesn't have anything done. So the Cobra is like slow compared to this, if that's the case. But yeah, that's really good news that the Cobra's bumper and everything could be repainted. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm just legit finding having issues finding a shop that'll do it, and you know we'll see. I need to get some E85 soon, probably do that, or 91, you know, because we're rocking the flex fuel kit. If you guys are interested in the flex fuel kit, I recommend getting the advanced fuel dynamics one, works really good. Initially, we had some problems at first, but they were resolved quickly, which is good. So, like right now, I'll pull up the ProFlex app. It's a real-time sensor. It's legit in the fuel line, like right at the fuel rail. So it's very direct, knows how much ethanol is in the car. So we're at 73% ethanol, which is pretty good. I think the most I've seen was like 83, you know, which is really good. Um, but yeah, this, this truck is definitely going very slow. It is kind of quiet. What do you guys think, Corsa Extremes next or what? What's up guys so today is actually a little more of an interesting video so I'm getting the Cobra's bumper appraised and everything else that got damaged when we went to LA and uh, we're gonna see what they say how much it's gonna be how much they might send me a check for we're not too sure yet but uh, we'll see you guys in a little bit hit some acid and also kind of messed up my plate as you can see it ate away the whole plate but it ate away this paint right here and so whatever this is yeah um... that it just legit splattered on the paint and it messed up like my hood like at night the clear you can see that it has a bunch of spots on it yeah. and uh, my mirrors also because they're color matched they uh they got messed up here as well it's kind of like dirt but chipped away so i mean i'm just needing you know a respray. So just the bumper the hood and the, the mirror mirrors, caps yeah and then the fenders. the fenders i feel like should be blended if that's possible i mean Whoever, I mean, I'm just saying, like, including cost-wise, you know, because silver is such a hard color to match, you know, so, um, some, most of the people have told me to blend the fenders as well, because I don't want to have two different silvers, you know what I'm saying? Oh, here. yeah, uh, up here as well, it kind of sustained damage, just like this right here, it's like the same kind of thing. You see it really at night. Yeah. At night but we do production work, we're not doing cars for shows or anything no, like I, that. No, I thought so. we were just getting an appraisal. Like, yeah, I can insurance. write an estimate for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's what I wanted, so, you know. Okay. Has this been painted before? Because I can see, like... I did a paint correction on it. Paint uh, fish eyes in it right here, I could see. Yeah. What's a paint correction? I mean, just getting rid of the swell mark, so... Oh. You know, I might have missed, like, maybe a few spots or whatever, but... Looks pretty clean though, I love with this dude, that rear end looks clean. So, pretty much to sum everything up, I might have to do a pull for the one time. Oh, dig race or what? But, I mean I like the RS for the most part, the only gripe I have about it is just that there's so much wheel hop. But other than that, it rides really nice, like I really can't complain aside from like uh, some wheel hop. Too many issues right now, but 
to fill up with some gas right now. Wish I could do 85. Sadly, sad life. Just the normal 91 gang. I always fill up with shell. Like, I haven't not filled up with shell for a long time unless I had to, you know, like. To be honest, I try not to use the AC, but it's just way too damn hot. And, like, if I'm not racing, like, whatever at this point, you know. I filled up $46 for 11.7 gallons, 91. Side. But uh, we're gonna head home right now. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So to update the vlog a little bit. See here that thunk? Like I don't know what it is. The clutch does, just don't feel like it grabs right for some reason. Like I don't know how to describe it. But it is what it is. Gotta angle this shit out of this. My fault, G. We'll see how the Cobra runs. She's running cool for the most part, aside from the trends and clunking. I'm thinking it's my diff, and then also the ABS light. I gotta go fix that, so probably when I get home or something, I will check out the sensors, because I'm not sure as to what that is yet. I just hella wanna start racing the car and beat on it, but I just feel like the trans, I don't wanna cause any more harm to it than it needs to right now, so we're just gonna chill on that for a while. But what surprised me the most when I was at the, uh, the appraisal place, The dude was like, I don't know what a paint correction is. Like, how do you not know what a paint correction is and you work at a body shop? Like, that just doesn't make sense to me. Holy shit, these people are Spider-Man. I want everything to match a grid, so. I don't want anything to look like it didn't match, you know what I'm saying? So, we'll see. Uh, aside from those little issues, it's whatever. She drives point A to point B, but I want to go from point A to point B and point C, you know what I'm saying? So the drone is pretty bad, i am be honest. Coming from the 5.0 to this, it's way too loud. Aside from that, um, a few announcements. We're going to be headed to Ponies at the Pike, which is September 15th and 14th. Supposedly they'll have like a pre-meet or something like that. So we'll check it out. Ponies at the Pike is in Long Beach, California. So it's a bit of a far drive for us. And then after that, we're gonna have a meet here. It's called Triangle Burger. It's located in our city. So if you guys wanna check that out, that'd be sick. It should be a cool show. It should be trophies and everything. loose did you see that was it fish telling oh, i was spinning like bad oh yeah i know i felt it bro that was fun though yeah track app what i mean it definitely feels quicker huh 